we are pregnant and having a baby. Hopefully it's a girl. But if it's a boy, we'll take it. But if I had a choice, I'd want a girl. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So this is an exciting video for me and for more than one reasons at this point Today is Friday, January 13th um, And I'm currently 15 weeks pregnant at this point. I'm hoping that I would have already announced That I am pregnant if anything. Do I have a video of like how I found out? Yeah, I'm telling my partner. Yes, but I don't know that you guys are actually gonna see the one of telling my partner because I feel like that's just um, intimate and some things you want to keep for you and like to yourself. And so I don't know if that will make it on here, but we'll just have to see. So I have some notes that I have written down about my first trimester because I'm currently in my second trimester. So I figured this is a better time to make a video recapping like my first trimester. I'm literally wearing pajama tops because what else and who wants to get dressed? Nobody. So I have just a few things that I have um written down for the first trimester so you know i found out and i was shocked out of my mind obviously i'm assuming that by this point you guys would have already seen the video of how i found out if i decided that i'm going to share that shocked out of my mind i was not expecting it and i just took the test as a joke just to see just does and sure enough i was the one on the other end of the joke because i definitely was um i was I don't know that I was feeling anything unusual except for the fact that my boobs were super sensitive and they normally are when I'm about to have my cycle and so that was not very alarming and I think I had shown in the video too that when I was testing the apps were saying that my period was supposed to come the following day which would have been November 1st obviously that didn't happen because now we're here and now we're here so um yeah however let's get into the first trimester um all of just the first trimester everything the first thing that was bothering me so much is that i was sleeping i could not keep my eyes open for anything at all and normally i will do like my double shifts at work here and there i couldn't do that because in the mornings and at the time i didn't realize it but in the mornings i felt like i just couldn't stay awake and you know initially i thought oh they're taking too long to come and relieve me so i can go on my break but i just could not stay awake i needed to go and get some coffee so that i could have some energy to carry on the rest of the day until i get to my lunch but i could not i had to have like a bag of ice and i kept putting it on my eyes when i felt like i needed to sleep it was just preposterous it was oh it was bad bad business and then th this one is a really big one for me and now that i'm in my second trimester i've realized it i've acknowledged it and i'm really trying to work on it but my partner annoys me so much like the overall, I don't want to say the overall idea of him I'm annoyed with, but it's just something. I don't know what it is. And it's funny because I remember when my friend was pregnant with my goddaughter, she used to tell me that, um, you know, she was either annoyed or like just a lot of things used to annoy her, but I never imagined that it would have been this bad. Like if I see something out of place, I'm a little, he says I'm, I'm OCD. I don't know. Maybe I have a little OCD tendencies here and there, according to my sister. But I have, everything has a place. I like order, I like organization, you know, I like all that stuff. And so I feel like there's a place for everything and everything should be in its place. And once something is not in its place, I'm so upset. If there are too many shoes by the entryway, I'm very upset and it needs to be gone right now because I like clean and organized and everything in place. And I've really, I've really been struggling. I think that is our biggest struggle yet, just the fact that I'm so annoyed with him and he can tell but funny enough before I even got pregnant we were having conversations about pregnancy and about kids obviously these are things that you talk about and you know I was explaining to him that when a woman is pregnant it's a totally different ball game they could hate you they might not want any intimacy there might there's so many things that goes into it and we have those minor conversations but I feel like for him he may not have expected it to be this magnitude because i'm telling you it's bad and like i said i've noticed and i remember a couple of days before i found out or a week before i found out there was one night where i snapped on him so bad and that never happens because me i will talk about a lot of things here and there like just put it out there so you can take care of that before i get to the point where i snap but i feel like i was talking about the same things 
over and over and over and it wasn't changing and it just as we can see me being annoyed with him is the biggest biggest one it sounds like water is running or one of the biggest ones moving on to my sense of smell I remember when I went to my first OB appointment, I told her that I feel like I smell like a wet dog. Oh my God, she died in the office. She was laughing so hard. She was like, I've never heard this one before. And I'm like, I don't know where it came from, but initially I had bought some prenatals because I went to my regular doctor's office out, out here and you know, they did the test and everything and confirmed the pregnancy. And then I took it up on myself. My friend and I um, found me an OB and then, you know, I made the appointment and went there. And so I got some prenatals from the first doctor's visit, but they were big and pink and I did not like them. And then I was doing some research and it was saying that like some specific like vitamins or whatever needed to be in the prenatals, like choline and folic acid. And so I did my research and I found one with them in there, but it was really good. But honestly, my pee was so saturated with the smell of that thing. Oh, I wanted to barf every time. I had to smell that every time I sat down to pee I smelt it and it was disgusting it was driving me crazy I could not I felt like I just smelled like a wet dog or like a wet rug like a, something wet and dried I oh it was so bad and I smell every single thing that nobody else smells and it, it's a bit off-putting sometimes because it's just like oh my gosh I do not want to be smelling this right now I do not want to be going through this right now but I just do and it bothers me but it's it's there and it's just one of the things you know um i remember one night mr came home and i was laying in the bedroom the door was closed and i could smell him the moment he walked inside of the apartment and i'm like please don't bring those clothes inside here so he had to bring them inside of the second bedroom because i just felt like the clothes smelled like outside so bad and i couldn't do it i just could not i could not and sometimes i feel so bad because i feel like he's going through it but realistically i'm going through it and essentially i guess if i'm going through it he's gonna be going through it too but it's it's not great over here it's a little hostile it's a bit of tension it's we're going through it i'm aiming for this i'm aiming for this video to not be too long so my sense of smell also ginger ale ginger ale ginger ale ginger ale ginger ale ginger ale really helped me luckily for me i went to that first um ob appointment at eight weeks seven weeks and a few days like almost eight weeks and she was saying to me listen eat something every couple of hours because that's gonna um take away the nausea that you feel and honestly that has really helped me out because i have not barfed yet and i'm 15 weeks and that's very big to say and i'm and i'm glad that i haven't so i always have ginger ale right now i'm looking at a bottle of ginger ale in a grocery bag right there on the floor and there's one in the fridge one in the fridge is almost done i don't drink it very often but those moments where i feel like mm, there's a taste in my mouth that i don't like i have to run to the fridge and just get some at this point i put the bottle up my head like i'm the only one who drinks it and we know that it's mine and don't touch it because <laughs> we've had our own experiences with him eating something and when i was going for it it was not there and i was completely debilitated it was over for me <laughs> but um yeah so um the ginger ale have i wouldn't say i've had any crazy cravings yet that i could label as like cravings in terms of like i want this every day or i want this every single time or no but i've had a lot of things that i felt for and like i guess it's cravings anyways like i felt for corned beef and cabbage and i and i remember one day i was cooking something else and i literally had to make the corned beef and cabbage as well because that's the only thing baby felt for so I had to make that and I've made a few times since I think another time since and I ate it that whole week and that was so good I remember one of the days I ate it and I'm like mm, you like that huh it was so good so so good I ate it and I felt so content as we're on the topic of eating I feel like I could eat and eat and eat and eat and eat I have so much space in my stomach for food these days and I don't know what it is because me I eat in smaller portions I don't eat a lot of food all at once naturally but this is another thing um we have anxiety has entered the chat and i've said on here before that i have my my little waves of anxiety here and there but the the what made me the most anxious is i had a miscarriage before and so i was so nervous and i didn't even want to tell people does this show me how long i've been recording for yeah my skin looks good as hell I mean, my neck is dark, but still. Oh my God. No, it doesn't. Um, so I didn't want to tell people. So I waited until I was literally past the 12 week mark and had an appointment at 12 weeks before I said anything. So I told my 
obviously I told my partner from like six weeks but I knew from like a couple of weeks before and I waited a few weeks to tell him because I wanted to get a little surprise together because I always had a vision in my head of how I wanted to tell my partner and so I did that and that was so cute um I'll insert a picture of the box here so you guys can see it so there was that and then um but outside of him I didn't want to tell anybody else because I was so nervous and I remember in those early stages you can't feel baby moving and so there's no reassurance that oh hey I'm inside here but I'm fine here I am nothing you know thankfully for me at the time I was having appointments every two weeks and with the every two week appointments I would get uh an ultrasound every time I went and that was great that was very reassuring for me but now I'm at the point where they're every four weeks and it's just like all right I have one next week and I'm so excited for that one because I want to see baby but I also feel like at 12 13 weeks I was able to feel a lot of flutters it felt like a lot of fish swimming around but yeah I felt that here and there but it's not that much where you're able to see I mean now I do I do feel it too but I can't wait to get to that point where I'm able to feel like an actual kick so I know hi mom I'm fine you know what I mean because it right now it makes me so anxious like I haven't seen baby in four weeks and it's just like okay are you even okay in there even though I'd, I've felt it moving throughout the process I don't know what the gender is yet my sister has an envelope that's a whole other thing my sister has an envelope with the gender in it not an envelope an email and her and my friends are figuring out to, to like see how they're gonna reveal the gender to me and mister but that's still up in the air. My sister is telling me not to worry about things that does not concern me. So hopefully it's good. Um, but I'm just about ready to know the gender so I can like figure out the name situation because that's a whole other situation on its own. A name that my partner likes and sounds like he's liked it his entire life. I no, I can't even. <laughs> so you know that basically um, sums up the anxiety that I've been feeling in terms of like um, not wanting to tell people. I mean, now I'm at the point where I had to tell my manager and like my coworkers, they know, or some of them know. I mean, more of them than I thought now know, but um, it feels a little bit better that they do know and they do know that it's some things that I'm not able to do, but the anxiety and I'm still very anxious, even though, like I said, a few people know. Um, eating all the time, I found I addressed that already. Like one, I'm eating all the time because my OB said to eat every couple of hours to make sure that I don't experience nausea and I will do that because I hate feeling like I have to barf and brushing my teeth really oh my god takes it up a notch every time I'm in there I feel like I have to I can't brush my teeth with toothpaste I literally have to be in there brushing with just the water and the toothbrush and like rinsing with mouthwash afterwards because I'm ready to barf my guts out um so eating all the this one this one gets me and I'm gonna tell you how bad it gets me the frequent urination frequent trips to the bathroom the urge to have to pee all the time i remember the other night i was in the shower and i'm like babes you give the bladder a break please i'm asking you kindly and i'm not even anywhere in the pregnancy yet in terms of like feeling baby really pressing on your bladder where you have to go now or pee is gonna start trickling down your legs i'm not even there yet and i feel like i can't even earlier i was in the bathroom i peed i stood up i brushed my teeth and i had to pee again and I'm not talking, there's nothing coming out. And I know that the more water you drink, the more you have to pee. But I mean, there was pee. And I'm, I, I'm confused. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And I don't like it. But I guess it's another one of those reassuring symptoms that, okay, baby is there and baby is fine. If all of these things are happening, it means that baby is there and baby is okay. And so that soothes my anxiety. But Jesus Christ, I'm going through it with the peeing all the time. The other night I was at work and I was doing one to one, so I was sitting there the entire shift. Then I had to go to the bathroom so much, and one of the nurses was like, "You have to pee all the time, huh?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's the most debilitating part of this whole thing, honestly." In the first the two months, the tailbone pain that I've I've been experiencing, I've been experiencing that tailbone pain before I even knew that I was pregnant. So like the first month, oh my god, the tailbone pain was so bad. I thought it was gonna take me out. I thought it was gonna just take me out. Now I'm at a point where I don't feel it anymore and I'm so grateful. I'm so, so grateful. Also, as I'm talking about that, I bought me this little journal, this little book. It's from the company Perks and Joys, but it is a, Perks and Joys, it is a pregnancy journal and oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I'm able to write down the little how I'm feeling, this and that, and it's great. 
so I've been filling out the like the amount of weeks and everything and like the first sonogram and the first the sonogram ultrasound as I'm talking about that the pregnancy brain. some of these things that are associated with pregnancy initially I thought they were a joke but they really aren't so like things like that you know you're able to put your first ultrasound and you know, who went to your first appointment with you, who's been going to your appointments with you, little things like that. So it's very cute. And I absolutely love that. I love that I have it to go through all of the trimesters with me and all of the months and the good, the bad, and the indifference. So love that for us. The, the, the mom brain, the pregnancy brain is a real, real thing. When you hear people talking about it, don't think it's a joke because maybe I, I, I did minimize how mom brain, seriously. No, it's real. It's a real thing. And I already, my brain was already before so it's a real thing so after the tailbone pain i think i mentioned before that my boobs were extremely sore and they felt huge they felt so huge i mean obviously right at this point they're a little bit bigger and we love to see it i know it's not gonna stay do not burst my bubble but so cute i wouldn't be mad if i had these forever but um now they're a little bit better now when i take my bra off i really have to hold them up for a little bit anyways but they're a little bit better than in the initial stages the fatigue i cannot keep my eyes open i want to sleep all the time i came home today and i've been sleeping since 8 a.m and i woke up at 2 20 p.m and there was one day where i slept for nine solid hours and i get it it's a lot of blood going through your body you're baking a baby every week when you go it grows a little bit bigger and so you your body has to be tired to be growing a baby at that rate but god oh i can't keep my eyes open i can't commit to anything i can't stay over at work anymore not that i would want to at this point i prefer to pick up an extra shift a night than to stay in the mornings for a 16 hour shift the last time i did that while i was pregnant it wiped me out completely i felt like i could not recover and so i wouldn't do that again but girl the fatigue i need to sleep in the first um after i found out so mm, about the second month i experiencing the worst constipation oh my god i remember the second um ob appointment i had i told her i said listen i'm constipated and i need you to take it away i need it to be gone i, I remember one night i was here and i thought about just going to the hospital and having them give me an enema and then i remember that i had bought like an enema thing on amazon and i literally have to get myself an at home enema tmi but it's what I was going through and I'm gonna be very real and raw about this experience, okay? Had to give myself an enema and then I got some relief and then she pers she told me to buy Benefiber and honestly, that has been helping me so much. And then I bought chia seeds and that's been helping too. I'm integrating that into my daily or weekly diet because chia seeds are like a lot of fiber and that's really, really good for pregnancy. But oh my God, the constipation that I faced, if I have to eat them chia seeds like yogurt, I'll eat it because I do not wanna ever go through that again. It was so bad. Um, um, right now I'm at the point where, um, oh, the out of breath. I mean, you guys can already tell you can't, I feel like I ran a marathon from just going and peeing and walking back to this couch or, oh, don't mention bringing something from downstairs. If I have to go downstairs to bring something up here, I'm wiped out. I'm wiped out. And I have to recover for like 45 minutes after that. Anything I do feels like I've run a marathon. It's ridiculous. I can't even. But right now I'm at the point where I'm I'm completely fine. I remember when I was pregnant with my daughter, I I was fine the whole time. I found out when I was 17 weeks, I wasn't really having any symptoms outside of knowing that there's a baby in there and wanting to sleep all the time. That was the only thing I was really experiencing. And it's the same this pregnancy. And I'm so grateful because I know that it's some women who are wiped out by the pregnancy down bad all the time. And so I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And I do consider myself one of God's favorite for this particular thing trust me i know but um i'm at the point right now where outside of the little flutters and i feel like the flutters are so light sometimes i can't even tell if that's baby or not i'm so worried so like the anxiety is back of like oh my gosh a four-week appointment is too far away and i want to know if baby is okay so i can't wait i mean i'm i'm at um right about four months right now and so obviously um as time progresses i should feel baby moving more like actually kicking more and I can't wait for that to happen so I could get like a little bit of reassurance that the baby is fine. I've thought about buying a Doppler a couple of times, but this shit is $89 and I just feel like absolutely not. I can buy something off of my baby's registry, a few things off of my baby's registry with their $80. I don't want to buy a Doppler. And so I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I'm just like, Shane, baby is fine. I feel a little flutters here and there. 
if it feels like something you've never felt before, that's baby. That's what I'm thinking. Am I wrong? This is what I'm going with and I don't want to hear that I'm wrong because that has been giving me peace and I definitely need the peace right now. But um, yeah, um, when I don't feel anything, like I feel so normal right now, it's, it's, it worries me a little bit, but I pray about it and I pray over baby and um, I think everything is fine. We're fine, everything is fine, pregnancy is going great, can't complain. And um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the first trimester. I'm pretty sure that maybe there's something that I forgot because I have a little list, but you know, we always forget something anyways but um yeah i think i think that's it i've been taking um weekly videos every week or i've been trying every couple of weeks every like other week or so because i know that sometimes um things won't change that's crazy i saved this picture of nazanin in july july 12th i took a screenshot 2022 right and i i was thinking you know if i ever if I ever were to get pregnant again, I'd want to do something like that for like a maternity shoot. That is so cute. And oh, I'm going to send it to my sister and see what, what she thinks. Because I definitely want to do a maternity shoot. This might be my last pregnancy and I want something to remember. Um, yeah, I want to do a maternity shoot. I want to dress up and look cute and take pictures to remember my baby and my baby bump. Because this might be the last go around with babies. I think two is fine. I'd love to have it in village, but realistically, not realistically, that's not realistic. So let's leave it where it's at. But I think that um, just about wraps it up for this video. Anything else I remember I'll mention in the second trimester video, at the end of the second trimester, at the beginning of the third trimester. And um, yeah, uh, there should be videos coming in between this one because at this point, obviously, I'm more comfortable talking about my pregnancy and stuff like that. So those videos should come soon. So if, you know, if there are any new symptoms, then you guys will know. But, um, yeah, we are pregnant and having a baby. Hopefully it's a girl. But if it's a boy, we'll take it. But if I had a choice, I'd want a girl. I'm not going to lie. I'm just being honest. But right now I'm warming up to the idea that, listen, maybe it might be a boy and that's just it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video.